could, and I could drink people under the table easily and walk away from it, whereas they would be like, uh, uh. So, Travis and I went to a convention, I think the first one was Anime Detour, and I don't even remember what year it is, it, it had to be like 2004, 2005, it was way back in the day. And um, I challenged him, and he's like six foot six, six foot five, he's so big. He's a big dude, he may not be that big, because maybe he's like well, six I mean, three. And he's also like he works out all the time and does like triathlon, so he's like, what oh, up? Didn't, yeah. didn't he do like a, a photo shoot as Clark Kent? Oh, did he? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, not as Superman, but as Clark Kent. It was like a goofy mm-hmm. thing that he and Lauren did for their engagement photos or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I thought it would be a good idea to challenge him, and that was stupid of me because he's giant and he gets my butt and had to carry me to my room. <laughs> And then we went to AWA, which is Anime Week in Atlanta, I guess about a year later, and they thought it was so hilarious that the people that worked at the convention were like, guess what we did for you guys? We brought you bottles of tequila and special shot glasses that light up, and like they made a whole deal about it. Like they were all about it. So I made a deal with him where I said, well, you're such a good dude, and I'm a little girl, which I never use as an excuse except for this one time. I used to like, girl power, but this one time I was like, I'm a little girl. So he had to drink two to my one. <laughs> and I'm Hispanic. So I think I had ten. And I was okay, which meant that he had like twenty or something like that. I mean like he had a lot, but he also made a fatal mistake because we did this kind of unplugged panel where it was kind of like he was the Robert or uh, Howard Stern and I was kind of the Robin Quivers and we would like joke with the audience and talk. And some guy stood up in the middle of the panel with like a huge Aquafina bottle and he's like I dare you to drink this! And I was like, I don't know what that is. It's yellow. It's in an Aquafina bottle. It's obviously not water. I'm not touching it. But Travis had had just enough tequila. And he's like, all right! <laughs> so he found an entire Aquafina bottle of I don't know what. And then proceeded to continue. Yeah, he was not a happy camper. He lost his wallet. <laughs> That's sad. He lost his wallet. So we went around, we went to a Full Metal Alchemist party. We were both incredibly inebriated, and I remember it being very odd because everybody was in cosplay, and we couldn't remember anyone's name, so we were speaking to everybody in character. It's like, hey, Gluttony, come over here! Hey, Reason, what's up? It was very bizarre. <laughs> and they were smart enough to put all the guests on the same level, so it was kind of like, security-wise, we could just act like fools up there and nobody saw us, thank God. Because uh, we were looking for his wallet, and something tickled us, made us funny, or got us laughing, and we started laughing so much we were rolling around on the floor in the hallway. And Vic and Lucy came up at about that time, and they were like, oh no. (laughs) And became like the mommy and daddy, and like, watch us. So we went everywhere looking for Travis's wallet, and I got a text in the middle of the night that said, you know where my wallet was? In my back pocket. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but needless to say, that was the last time that happened. And now somehow it has gone down into like, you know, convention lore. <laughs> and it's on YouTube too, because evidently everybody asks Travis's version and my version at every convention. So there's like this whole, when I'm 60, I'll be able to show my grandkids like, remember when mom was cool and grandma was cool and she used to drink tequila? Here, watch 48 videos about it. <laughs> That's that. I haven't seen Travis or Laura in a long time. And I love you guys. So there's a camera. So I'm assuming. <laughs> so if you guys see them, they're really, really cool, and you should totally hang out with them because they're rad. That's that. <laughs>